Hey, what's up? Clay here with Clay Jarvis Guitar. This is the third video in my beginner guitar series. Click the playlist link above right here if you want to check out the first two videos in this series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some basic parts of the guitar, how to play notes correctly, and some very important information about using your left hand. Coming up. So number one, let's talk about some basics of the guitar. In the last lesson, we talked about memorizing the open strings. E, A, D, G, B, and E. We want to figure the numbers that are associated with each one. So on the guitar, consider the bottom string, the skinniest string, as your first string. And then go up, the B is your second string, G is your third, D is your fourth, a is your fifth. The top thickest string is your sixth string. So from top to bottom, it would be six, five, four, three, two, one. My index finger is my first finger. Next finger is my second finger. My ring finger is my third finger. And of course, my pinky is the fourth. So one, two, three, four. The next thing we want to talk about is the guitar neck. We've already talked about the tuners and how to tune the guitar in the last lesson. So let's talk about the fretboard and the guitar neck. So when we look at the guitar neck, we're looking at these bars right here, and these are frets. And so the space in between each one of these bars represents a number. So if I put my finger anywhere here, on any one of these strings, then I'm playing the first fret. If I put my finger anywhere here, I'm playing the second fret. Anywhere here, I'm playing the third fret. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so forth, so on. So basically, if I wanted to say I want to play the sixth string with my second finger on the second fret, it would look like that right there. If I want to play the third finger on the sixth string, third fret, it's going to look like that right there. So this is real important when you're thinking about keeping your hands in position. So basically you've got your numbers to your frets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so forth, so on. Well, the guitar also has like dots in the very top right here of the neck. And that's just an easy way to reference where you're at on the guitar. And it, example of that the the first dot right here is going to be on the third fret which on this sixth string top string third fret that's going to be a g note okay the next dot is going to be on the fifth fret then there's a dot on the seventh fret the ninth fret and then it goes up to two dots on the twelfth fret and it's really easy to kind of figure out where you're at quickly by using the dots on the guitar so next, what we want to do is look at the way you fret a note. So whenever I place my finger behind one of these bars, I'm actually hitting another note. So this is my open note right there on the first string. Well, if I play first fret, first finger, first string, then that right there would be an F note. But if you can tell, I'm actually bending my finger, got my thumb behind the neck just a little bit, and I'm hitting that note. Now one key to fretting a note or playing a note on the guitar is you want to have your finger right behind this bar. So I don't want to have my finger right there. I don't want to have it really right dead in the middle. I want to have it just behind that bar. So if I play this note here, I'm right behind the bar of that fret. Same here, same there, same there. This gets real important as you go along because it's a little bit hard in the beginning to make that stretch with your fingers. So another thing that's very important, and we talked about this in the first video, is keeping your fingers bent. So it's kind of like a claw. So basically, I'm making sure that my fingers are bent because if I'm playing a chord, then I don't want to touch any other strings. I want to be able to play this chord and you hear every note or this chord 
which we'll get into more chords later on in other videos. So it's very important that you hear each note. And if you don't, then there's some kind of problem. Either your fingers are not bent properly or you're not putting enough pressure down on the note. So if I play like that right there where I'm just, you can't really hear the note, it's simply because I don't have enough pressure down on the string. Now I got just enough pressure. Now I don't want to put too much pressure on it because then it could bring it out of tune and the note wouldn't sound good. I want to have just enough pressure with my finger on that fret to where I can hear that note and that note sounds good, sounds true. And it doesn't matter whether I'm playing just notes like this or if I'm playing a chord. So once again, I can't stress this enough how important it is, especially as a beginner, to make sure that you can hear every note. So once you start to learn chords, you want to be able to hear every note every time. You don't want to hear this. That's no good. And the reason why that's happening is because this top finger is actually playing that note, but it's also getting in the way of this note, which should be that note. So it's real important that you learn these techniques to keep your left hand in a position to where you can hear every note. The key to it is, is just to pay attention and listen with your ear. And if you hear something wrong, then stop and fix your mistake. So instead of just drumming this chord, let it sound like whatever. I want to make sure I can play each note first. Now I can strum. And I know everything's going to sound good. So hey, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. And let me know, how long have you been playing guitar? Also, if this lesson has been helpful for you, I would greatly appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube will show it to more people just like you. I hope you will subscribe and stay tuned for more lessons just like this. And be sure to turn your notifications on so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the next video.